Nathan Gorman wins a 10 round points decision over Kevin Johnson. Now, this was a very, very late notice fight for um, Nathan Gorman and for Kevin Johnson. Nathan Gorman, I believe, I forget the opponent's name, but I think it was some Brazilian he was scheduled to fight who obviously pulled out and, you know, in steps Kevin Johnson. Now, Kevin Johnson at this stage in his career, he's, what, 39 years old. He's a veteran. He knows how to survive. He knows how to basically avoid getting hit with big shots. He rides a lot of shots. He's very negative, extremely negative. We saw that against Daniel Dubois, where Dubois really kind of had to pace himself and kind of pick his shots very carefully because he realised that Johnson just wasn't throwing back and, you know, so on and so forth. Now, in this fight, I think that, again, Johnson was, of course, very negative, as we expected. But I think that Gorman, he didn't look exactly good in this fight. He won every round, definitely. But I noticed that Johnson was landing a few little, like, overhand rights now and again on uh, Nate Gorman. And it seemed they were like little counter right hands. And Nate Gorman just didn't seem to, you know, have any answer to it. Now... There wasn't an awful lot of power behind them, but you just kind of thought if Johnson was, you know, a couple of years younger and was trying, I was landing that right hand, might have some issue. Might have some issue. Gorman, he... Nathan Gorman, I do rate. I do think he is a very good, talented fighter. But he just... I, I don't know what it was. He just didn't look exactly as good as I've seen him before in these fights. And I know you could say that the opponent, Kevin Johnson, we you know, very negative and wasn't trying. Well, yeah... But still, I mean, Daniel Dubois was in there with the same guy. And despite the fact that Kevin Johnson was actually probably more negative with Dubois than he was with Gorman. Dubois still, he looked good in, in spots. There was things he was doing that were impressing you, that were making you think, you know what, I need to take note of that. Whereas with Gorman, there wasn't really any of that. And I think it could possibly, it could possibly stem from the fact that his last three opponents... Sakalowski, Kajanu, and now Johnson have been three very somewhat negative fighters. Um, the Kajanu fight, I'll admit I haven't seen it. I haven't actually seen the fight. But from what I've been told, Kajanu was a lot more negative than he was against Dubois. So maybe it's just it's becoming familiar for Kevin Johnson. Or not Kevin Johnson. Maybe it's becoming familiar for Nathan Gorman. Maybe that's why he didn't look the best. That he, he's getting used to fighting these negative guys. Whereas Dubois is fighting guys who come at him more. Who come to fight a bit more. And maybe that's why he's looking a bit more spectacular. Maybe that's what it is. But, you know, those are my thoughts on this. I don't know if we're going to see Nathan Gorman versus Daniel Dubois. I believe that the British Boxing Board of Control have ordered um, Joe Joyce to fight Daniel Dubois. That would be a very, very fun fight to watch. Um, I, I don't know which one I'd prefer. I, I would definitely, if, if Joyce fought Dubois, I'd be picking Joyce to win that fight. Um, if Gorman fought Dubois, I'd be picking Dubois to win that fight. Dubois has impressed me a little bit more than Nathan Gorman. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh on Nathan Gorman for his performance. He, again, he was in there with a very, very negative fighter in Kevin Johnson who, at this stage of his career, he, he just knows how to survive and that's really it. If he's beating you, you must be terrible. So, those are my thoughts on this. Leave your thoughts down below. Did you think that maybe Nathan Gorman looked better than I'm giving him credit for? If you did, leave it down below. Keep it respectful, of course. And, uh, yeah, please smash the like button. Like, share, comment, all that good stuff. And, as always, I will talk to you after.